solving one-step equations. Okay, in this concept we're going to learn how to solve equations and we're going to start with one-step equations, the most simple form we can. So to solve, we're going to find the value of x that makes the statement true. So for every equation we're going to end up with x equals a number. If you plug that number back in, it'll make a true statement. First of all, we need to know about inverse operations. Inverse operations are two operations that undo each other. So imagine making a pencil mark and then erasing it. The pencil mark and the erasing are two operations that have undone each other. The pencil mark is taken away by the eraser, therefore it's been undone. So what, undone, what undoes addition would be subtraction. So adding 5 and then subtracting 5 gets you back to where you started. Likewise, the inverse of subtraction is addition. Multiplication and division are inverses of each other as well. An important thing to note here is that division is the same thing as a fraction. So if you see x over 8 in a fraction form, it's the same thing as x divided by 8. Okay, so here's some examples. We're going to start with um, adding and subtracting here. So I have x plus 7 equals 4. Well, my goal is to get the x alone, so I want to get rid of this plus 7 right here. I have to ask myself, what's the inverse of a plus 7? Well, that would be a minus 7. So I'm going to subtract 7, and anything I do on one side of the equal sign, I have to do on the other side, so I'm going to do that on the right side as well. So I've done it once on the left and once on the right. On the left side, the plus 7 and the minus 7, well, if you add those together, they make 0, so those just cancel out. I'm left with just the x over there. And on the right side, 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So there's my answer. If I were to plug negative 3 back into the original equation right here for x, I would get negative 3 plus 7 equals 4. And that's a true statement. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. Okay, in this next one, I have a negative 12 that I want to get rid of to get the x alone. So I'm going to do the inverse of a subtraction, or the inverse of a negative sign, and that would be to add 12. I'm going to do it once on the left, and once on the right. This becomes 0. I'm left with x on the left side, and 15 on the right side. Okay, next we're going to look at um, problems that have something attached using multiplication. So in this first problem, I no longer have x plus or minus a number. I have negative 6 times x. Remember, whenever you have a number next to a variable, like 7x, that means 7 times x. So the inverse, if I look back at my notes, the inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. Remember, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. On the left side, negative 6 divided by negative 6 cancels out. I'm just left with the x. And on the right side, I get negative 8. So there's my answer. Okay, with this next one, I have 1 half times m. So I'm going to divide both sides by a half. And if you don't like using a half, you can always use 0 0.5. But I'm going to divide both sides by a half. And if I put this in my calculator, 10 divided by, use parentheses here, or your fraction button, 10 divided by 1 half. On the left side, I'm going to cancel out and just get m. On the right side, I will get 20. Okay, next we have numbers that are attached to the x by division. Remember, if you have a fraction here, it's the same thing as division. If you look back at your notes, the inverse of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 8. On the left side, both of my 8's cancel out, and I'm just left with x. On the right side, I have 16. Same thing for number 6. I want to get the x alone. The 3 is attached by division, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. They cancel out on the left, and I just get x equals 30. All right, so here we have a word problem. Steve is 6.4 feet tall. 
Justin is 1.3 feet shorter than Steve. How tall is Justin? So we're trying to figure out how tall Justin is. I'm going to use x to determine or to write Justin's height. So right now we'll say Justin is x feet tall. Justin is 1.3 feet shorter than Steve. So if we take Justin's height and we add 1.3, that's the same thing as Steve's height. So Justin plus 1.3 feet equals Steve's height. So now we're going to solve this. So here I have x plus 1.3. I need to get rid of the 1.3 and I'm going to use inverse operations. Since I have a plus sign, I'm going to subtract it on both sides. And I will get 5.1. So Justin must be 5.1 feet tall.